Air France fucked me up to and through. The algorithm has not been favorable on all social media platforms. You guys are the real MVPs. You're doing so well. You're doing amazingly well. For the starters like me also, we will get there. We are going. <laughs> like they say, when the going gets tough, mm -hmm. the tough gets going. So Paris is not even what we see on social media. Mm -hmm. Good evening from wherever you're watching me from. How are you today? How was your day? How is work? How is everything? Hope all is well and fine. My name is Okme Oluwa, also known as Damora. Hence the name of our YouTube channel, Damora Diaries. If this is your first time here, I say welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for the views. Thank you for your engagements. I appreciate it. It is somewhat a means of encouragement for me. I'm glad. I appreciate you. Blowing kisses. <laughs> so in today's video, I'll be giving a shout out basically to our content creators out there. And also to motivate people like me who do not like to make videos. So shout out to our content creators you guys are the real mvps <laughs> before i embarked on this journey i used to think it was something quite easy like isn't it just to make a video and post but ever since i began this channel there's a lot that goes on behind the scene like we should always appreciate the little four five nine ten minutes kids we watch on youtube those guys are doing so well. Like it takes a whole village for them to put that together. It takes a whole village from the video to the editing, to getting the right angles, to putting it out there. And the algorithm has been playing ping pong on all social medium. God, I'm calling it social medium. Social medium. Also, <laughs> on all social media platforms like Instagram, I see content creators really talking and nagging about it. The algorithm has not been favorable on all social media platforms, but still, you all kept pushing, you all kept doing it. And I mean, it is one way for me, it's it has been a way of also inspiring me, sort of. Yeah, so I say. A big shout out to you guys you guys are the real mvps you're doing so well you're doing amazing level for the starters like me also we will get there we are going <laughs> like they say when the going gets tough mm -hmm. the tough gets going so we will definitely get there it is a whole lot before now i never used to make videos i'm a picture person in fact i didn't i learned editing when i decided to become a youtuber whenever i take pictures i post out the raw pictures without any filter or editing and even for videos maybe my short videos or boomerang on instagram i was never the social media kind of person to that extent i just take fine pictures in my own way i think they're fine and i put it out there but just recently that I began this YouTube channel, I started learning how to use my cap cuts and I think I'm getting better. So for new YouTubers like me, you can also try cap cuts on InShots. I hear some people say they prefer InShots to cap cuts. Well, I've tried both, but I think I'll go for cap cuts any day, anytime. Because then I use InShots for my uh, business videos so yeah the business videos i mean it's not a head video i have never made any head video for my business if any maybe once i make a lot i just keep them in my gallery because i'm really camera shy i never thought or believed that i'll be in front of the camera talking to you or talking to my camera very recently, I was still telling my husband that if anyone had told me that I'll eventually sit in front of the camera to be doing this, <laughs> I would say never. 
in real life i'm a very shy person but most people don't know because i act like an extrovert but deep down i'm an introvert or better say maybe an ambivert an ambivert yeah so i'm really camera shy when i make videos for my business maybe happy new year or new month messages it sleeps and wakes up in my phone gallery it's all i delete them even when I make some videos to maybe advertise my brand or something, for no particular reason, this thing just ends up being in the gallery till I delete them to, to get more space. So recently, I went to Paris, not so recent, but about four or five months ago. And I've been meaning to talk about my trip to Paris, how it went, so horrible. <laughs> I... I did a little rant on my social media, my WhatsApp and my Instagram because Air France fucked me up to and fro. They left our uh, luggage. So going, they left our luggage in Netherlands. Coming back, they left our luggage in Germany because I went to Germany too. The trip was just a mess up and Paris is not even what we see on social media. That place, story for another day. <laughs> so I've been meaning to talk about my experience in Paris and some other countries and cities i've been to but each time i maybe decide to even talk about them i go through my phone gallery to look for videos to complement or match whatever i want to talk about i end up not seeing not even a single video of it like i am that bad with videos even with my baby when i see maybe a video of a mom and daughter playing and i'm like gene chat to post something similar <sighs> It is not always it is not even always funny i go on and on and on like where are these videos and i be like oh have you forgotten you're not really a video person you take pictures with her you take your pictures you take pictures with your husband or but not a single picture of or a video of you and these people so this youtube is also a way for me a way for documenting my journey set off bringing back memories in years to come so i can always tell alia oh go back to mama's youtube channel then you see your preparation for this how we prepared for that when we went to this when we went to that so and maybe i misplaced my phone or something or my phone crash or the system crash i can always fall back on my youtube channel so it is a way for me of documenting my journeys and I think I'm thankful for eventually deciding to be a YouTuber. Not been so easy at all, I wouldn't lie. Not been easy at all, <laughs> at all. Yeah. And the fact that I have a very shy person has not been making it so easy for me as well. Is why most times I would rather do vlog than a sit down content like this. So let me upload myself. I think I'm trying. <laughs> okay so if you want to start your youtube channel in 2024 and you're a shy person like me i feel you should start making vlogs first vlog your day and yeah vlog your day and some other activities so you can kick start from there just like here just like i did and we get there <laughs> we get there so once again, I'm saying a big shout out to all the content creators out there. You all are doing so well. No minding how the algorithm has been showing us shaggy. Yeah, sometimes you make a very good videos and you expect it to, to go viral. Maybe not viral, viral, but for you to see a good number of likes, views and comments. And at the end of the day, you just end up seeing two likes, three likes. I'd be like, how? And the one you don't even put effort to, you see 1,000 likes. Like, how? So, that just tells you to keep going. And most people talk about consistency. Yeah, consistency is very important for you to grow in all areas of life. Not just content aspects, not just business aspects. Even your personal life your growth you need to be consistent in whatever you want to do if you want to become a then you need to work towards that and be consistent on that path right so not just 
the content aspects yeah because i see so many people say consistency consistency yeah i think we should start nailing it that for you to become anything at all in life for you to grow you have to be consistent in whatever you lay your hands on or you so choose and decide to do so in one of my videos that i talked about a little talk actually not a full talk about my first miscarriage yeah very soon i'll be making a full and a better video for how the first one happened how the second one happened god forbid no third one will happen in jesus name and i'll also be making a, an introduction video very soon i would admit that in fact i feel like that would have been my first video because for most content creators i've seen on youtube it's always like their first video or oh, get to know me well okay so let me do a brief introduction my name is Ope Oluwa, Ali Balogun or Eshegun. Ali Balogun is my maiden name before i got married and now i'm happily married so it changed to Areshagun, but I still like to put the Ali Balogun in case, or for some people who knows me to be Okoluwa Ali Balogun, and they see me and be like, ah, she looks familiar, she looks like one Okoluwa Ali Balogun, I know. Yeah, so it's just a way for people to know that she's the same person, but now Mrs. Areshagun, a mom to this beautiful young lady here. Her name is Oluwa Dunsi, Alia, Ojuotimi, Oreshegun. What are your other names? Do you know what's your name? Alia. That is the only one you know, Alia. <laughs> Her names are Oluwa Dunsi, Alia, Ojuotimi, Bibi Re, Oshifowora. Let me go and play. Let mama concentrate. Mm. Bibi Re, Koshefora, Ayoto Miwa, Ayola, Esther, Oida Mola, and the list goes on and on. Moyoluwa logo. <laughs> it goes on and on like that. Uh, we call her almost everything actually, but she prefers Alia for reasons best known to her. I don't know why. That is not even her first name, but she prefers to be called Alia and she tells people a name is she tells people a name is Aliya. and yes she tells people a name is Aliya. so i think that is brief enough for now what else i don't know should i call myself a gen z or millennial both gen z with so many touches of millennial yes i'm more of a millennial in fact i'm not even gen z self i'm an escaped gen z <laughs> so but very soon yeah so going back to why i haven't done the introduction video it's because i really want to know what this channel is all about you fall down my mask yeah go back I'll be on the floor you fall down now, easy. My mom will not play with you again, no. You want my mom to stop playing with you? I should stop playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, sleep. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to our time very soon. Go and get groceries and some other things for you. Oh, yeah, sleep. Yeah. So, yeah, what I haven't done my get to know me video majorly is because I really want to figure out what this channel will be will be all about i think now it's all about so many things i i do so now it's about um motherhood lifestyle travel mm -hmm. so travel was like the major reason i set up this channel to vlog my waka waka because i waka waka a lot i can't decide now that i want to go to any city and I just pick up my ticket, off I go with my daughter and my husband. So basically, anyways, that was like the major <laughs> aim and reason for opening this channel. But along the line, should I say I just lost interest sort of not really? But watching other content creators into travel vlogs, I see that 
I'm not what? even there. Ten percent or twenty percent. So it's better I just start with motherhood, lifestyle, like cooking because I really love to cook. I really love to eat. So, and I cook every day. I cook fresh foods every day. Every good day I cook. I don't like to eat stale food or any food kept in the freezer. Some people say, oh, maybe because I'm a stay home mom. Okay, I'm not a full time stay home mom. I'm a stay home working mom. If that makes sense. I have a business I run in Nigeria. I'm into fabrics. I sell Adira fabrics. You can check out my page, Damura African Fabrics on Instagram. I sell customized fabrics majorly. So in case you have any events coming up and you want to have your name written on your fabric or your brand written on your fabric, yeah, just holler at your girl. You can send me a DM on Instagram. So even back in Nigeria, I was a stay-home working mom. I work from home. Majorly, I go to shop twice a week. I go to shop twice a week, and here it's not it's not so different because I still come and my staffs online. We have a virtual meeting, and everything is good to go. So I'm not a full-time stay-home mom. I'm a stay-home working mom. <laughs> but then I just like my food fresh. So if I'm making this to you. It's lasting me maximum of two days. Nothing more. Yeah. So what else? What else about me? I'm just a girl. A mommy. A wife. A cute, a cute baby. <laughs> but I'll try to document so many things. And I'll maybe put it out also for people who have any questions to ask me. So I think that will be all for now. So I can just go to the grocery store it's it's um four o'clock here already i need to go now i need to get to the grocery store oh, jesus christ what i sit down here you like it yes so it's four o'clock now i need to head to the grocery store before they close so see you in my next video don't forget to like share comment engage please the engagements are very important please i beg of you do you want me to go on my knees <laughs> so please engage and thank you for watching if you watched it till this minute you are the real MVP. <laughs> so, guys, just please, those likes, they keep me going. I'm on 100 subscribers already and hoping to get to 1,000 before the end of May. Yes, my birthday is coming in April. So, in advance, you guys should start subscribing as a birthday gift. I share the same month with my daughter. I mentioned that in one of my videos. So please subscribe as a way of gifting me for my birthday, right? <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. Mama said bye. Bye. bye.